Hello everybody, I'm Nike, and today we are playing Knights of Pen and Paper. Uh, in the last episode, we went on a boat ride, ended up uh, being thrown overboard, and now we're here in what is called Yoga Village. Uh, way up here in the north of the map, we started out down here. This is kind of in this uh, water temple thing is where we got thrown into the sea <clears throat> after fighting the mage that we are hunting who's apparently trying to either come into the real world out of the game or destroy the world or something like that. I'm kind of unclear on the motivations. Uh, but we have some quests and first thing we're going to do is sleep. There we go, get ourselves back up to full health. We're level 20, 21 in that area. <clears throat> uh, there was this tavern here in town. Leave characters of the tavern to open up a space. Uh, so I guess we could dump a character and then add a new one in their place. But I don't think we want to do that. Uh, so instead, let's uh, let's go with this quest. Well then, welcome to Yoga Village. <clears throat> quest done! Okay, so that was actually the quest. Wow, 30,000 XP. The two ring. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, we got some level ups. Uh, what have we been putting stuff into for her? Strike and Cleave. Cleave is the one that does damage on three people. It does a normal hit's worth of damage at this point. Um, I guess we could put it into Strike, although Hard Skin... Maybe we'll put into that. Uh, as for our Hipster Druid... Feral Rage, Regen, Hibernation... Um... This has already taken up 9 H or MP, and he has... I'm thinking that's the actual MP value. Magic? So 109. Yeah, I guess we'll put it into that. Okay. Uh, so presumably there's more quests to do here. Travel to Journey Village. Plains Temple. Ooh, we're not level enough to do that. I guess we'll do this one. Travel to Journey Village. Uh, there's a magical barrier protecting the next temple you can't break through, and I believe neither can the black mage. You look for the witch in the la you should look at the witch in the last place she was seen, Journey Village. I hope we find her quick enough and before that black mage. The witch was last seen in Journey Village. Find her. Okay. Uh, Journey Village, I believe, was way the heck over here. So we gotta go. I'm assuming there's gonna be a fight every step of the way. Yeah, there's one. Uh, your party is being attacked by what? Uh, some kind of wolf creatures, I guess. So, standard operating procedure. Open with a cleave. Oh, that did not do a whole lot of damage on their bar. Uh, fireball. You can regen yourself. Uh, strike, maybe? E. Not doing a heck of a lot of damage to these guys. Uh, the fireball comes in handy, though, because of the D.O.T. Uh, her. Obviously, she's getting pretty low. Yeesh. Uh, cleave. We may or may not come out of this alive. This is looking a little bit grim, at least for her. Have to keep regening her, I guess. Uh, it looks like she has some kind of a damage on her as well. She just lost some HP there, too, on that that heal. Actually, we might be able to take them, but it's going to take a little bit of, of effort here. Uh, actually, Meteor. Oh, that didn't do a whole lot of them at all. That guy got healed! Uh, regen her. Oh, it's all over the place with her. I think she's probably going to die <clears throat> before this is over. Um, you know what? Fireball seemed to be the more effective thing to use. And regen her again. Hopefully... Oh, he's taking some damage now, too. We'll strike kill this guy? Yeah, okay, so we get rid of one of them. And then... I guess let's fireball that guy. He's got a lot of... Oh, no. Well, crap. I think we've lost this now. 
There's not really a lot we can do but run out the clock here, I think, at this point. Yeah, he's down. There's no way she's going to be able to kill both of these guys without getting killed herself. Or maybe... Um, let's use hard skin to give her some more... A some little bit of health and some... Uh, Oh, no, we're not going to be able to defeat this guy with just her. I don't think, anyway. We're going to run out of MP at this point now, and we're just going to have to attack. Although... Oh, no, there we go. Okay, so we've been defeated. Uh, resurrect your characters and continue... the quest. Um... I would like to camp, but I don't trust us not getting attacked here. What's this place? That's level 22, uh, but we should continue on to Journey Village. If we can, please don't get attacked. Crap. Can we run? Yes, I want to check it out. Crap. Who's going to die? Her. Him. Run. Oh, seriously? A one? Okay. Okay. Waste some more gold resurrecting them. Um, what the heck is that? Uh, in any event, if we can get to the castle, we can. Okay, so we can sleep here at least and get our our stats back up. Um, oh, there was an in or a tavern here too. Uh, presumably, there's one. Oh, in in every. Oh yeah, that's what I actually want to do. Travel to Journey Village. Travel. And of course, now that we're in the easy area, we're going to win every dice roll. Yeah, every single one of them. Gets us to Journey Village. Uh, you have a quest for us. You arrive at Journey Village and start looking for her. You can't find the witch around, and no one knows her whereabouts. She certainly is not here. Journey Villager, I would... Would you do me a favor, adventurers? It depends on what you ask. I just need you to take this D4 dice and throw it in t throw it to the wind in flying dice. It brings good luck to the people of Journey Village. Sure, we can do that. Take the D4 dice to where it belongs and throw it into space. Okay. Uh, a level 20 area. We should be able to handle it. Of course, we're going to get attacked along the way, obviously. Protect the die! Um... Okay. Strike? Oh, they, these guys take very the uh, decent amount of damage. Um, we're gonna use deep freeze because we're in the desert. I'm presuming these guys are gonna be weak to ice. They are. Okay, and we're gonna regen him just for fun. We'll strike him again. Use deep freeze. Oh, he did not take much damage that time. Feral Rage, I guess? Some damage. Uh, I should be able to just kill him with an attack. That leaves us with two. I think we're going to actually use Meteor. Oh, that doesn't do anything to them, really. No. Y well, yeah. Okay, Feral Rage. Does a little bit of damage. Cleave? Eh. That's barely worth it. Uh, we're going to use Deep Freeze. And we're going to regen her. And then we are going to... Strike, I guess. That seems to be the more effective use of our mana. Uh, we're going to put Deep Freeze on that guy. And then we're going to Feral Rage him. That probably, I think, should kill that guy his next turn. So we're going to strike him now. Yeah, he's down. Put some Deep Freeze on him. And you know what? We'll just attack. There we go. Without using up too much of our MP and, uh, and HP, we're apparently at the Flying Die. So, as you get to the place where you see... As you get to the place, you see just how wonderful it is. You see many little dice flying around and a few huge ones that look like pyramids. You throw the D4 dice in the air so high. It starts to float and group up with the others. Roll perception check. Oh, good job! You found the witch next to the ones that look like pyramids. I sense you want to talk to me. Let's go to Journey Village where we can talk. 
Yes, we need your help. Let's hurry. Lead the way back to Journey Village. Okay, I bet we're gonna get attacked on this trip. Called it. Okay, so your party is being attacked. Protect the witch. Uh, it's a bunch of snakes. Okay. Uh, regen yourself. You do cleave, and these guys seem pretty easy. We'll use meteor on them. You can just attack somebody. Use cleave again on them. Uh, and, and just to finish them off, we'll use meteor. There we go. Victory! A little bit of XP. Some kind of an elixir. I didn't even bother looking at that. Um, okay, so we're in the village. We heard you could help us about the magical barrier on Plains Temple. Is that right? Oh, that temple. Yes, yeah, so I can help you get through it. Yay! Smiley face. But, I knew there was a but. You need to collect some things for me. Things needed for the potion and things needed for myself. Alright, sounds fair. Quest done. Long trip, eh? Yeah, kind of pointlessly long trip. We went all the way up north for no real reason. Uh, okay, so she gets a level up. I guess we'll put it into... Strike again? Taunt? Uh... See, the thing is, she doesn't have a lot of MP. We might actually have to get her some... Yeah, we'll put it into the strike. We might actually have to get her some equipment that actually just raises her MP. You... Uh, you will get an upgrade. We put a lot into Deep Freeze. I didn't even notice we put that much in there. I'm gonna put one into Fireball. Alright. Uh, so, well, no, wait. Let's take a nap to get his MP back. Alright, there we go. Each night increases the danger. Really? Is that a thing? We've almost been at this at a year in-game. It's day 297 now. Uh, he wants us to collect croc fangs. I guess this is for the witch. Oh, are these all? Things she needs us. Oh, this is kind of grindy. I need to help. I need you to collect some croc fangs. You may find them in the Flying Dutchman ship. This seems in the Flying Dutchman ship. Way over there. All right. Um, <clears throat> considering the level recommendation for this was fourteen, um, there's no real way to say this isn't just kind of a grindy side quest here. Um, uh, I mean, the Flying Dutchman ship, I guess, is level 8, 17, but the quest said 14 was the recommended level. Uh, and we're 21, and they put us in an area that was level 21, so really... They know we're powerful at this point. Collect five Croc Fang on monster drops to complete the quest. Okay. These are level 16. We'll take three of them... Choose your destiny. Cleave. Cleave is always our destiny. And Meteor. Boom. And I guess... Feral Rage. Cleave? I don't know if this is the most efficient way to kill these guys, but it works. Uh, Feral Rage. That'll take care of him. Let's strike and fireball. <clears throat> That'll at least get rid of one of them. There we go. So how many croc fangs do we get from that? We got a snowflake and no croc fangs at all. I am unimpressed. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go on to the next fight. Another three of them. Cheats won't help. I bet cheats would help. I just don't know any cheats. Cleave. Uh, regen. Yourself. Meteor. She's taking a beating. Cleave. And regen. And Meteor. I think this is a mobile game as well. Like, I think you can play this on your phone. Um, which honestly, I think would maybe even be better than the, the computer version here. 
Uh, if it was on your phone, you could kind of play these little grindy bits whenever you kind of felt like it, which would be neat. We'll use Meteor. <clears throat> and we'll just attack. Fangs? Two. We need what? Five? Excuse me, I need to make a call. Um... I don't want to. I don't want to get the the MP too high. I guess what we need to do, kind of, is go shopping and get some better gear that kind of smooths over those aspects of things. We'll maybe do that after this quest here. Uh, we need three Croc Fangs still. Let's try taking uh, four of these guys. Uh, cleave. Reach in on him. Meteor. Cleave again. Uh, this time we'll put Regen on her. We will again use Meteor. Doesn't to- uh, it does damage. No doubting that. At least on these guys. Um, nobody really needs to be regen so we'll just take that guy out. Uh, this guy's gonna need MP if we don't get enough after this battle. Uh, enough croc fangs. We're probably gonna have to sleep. You can just attack that guy, that'll probably kill him. And we'll just attack that guy to death. There we go. He seems to be doing more damage than she does. Uh, we got the croc fangs we needed. Now rest while you still have time. Now that you have them, be careful. Um, let's try to nap. Crap. Oh, man. Okay. Kind of got screwed there. Um, deep freeze that guy, I guess. Feral rage that guy. Try to get his MP down, a, or HP down a bit. Cleave, and then I guess we'll start out with the meteor now, maybe. Oh, we need we need uh, some healing. You need to regen that guy, and then yourself next turn if you survive this one. Uh, let's try to get rid of that guy fast. Ooh, he doesn't take a lot of physical damage. Crap, that was bad. There's no way we're gonna survive this. This is an unlucky, unlucky, uh, episode here. Um, yeah, we're gonna die. Wow, I thought for sure she was gonna get killed there. Okay, he's out of mana, there's nothing we can do about that. We can hard skin with her, give her a little bit more survivability, but that's probably all gonna be wiped away right there, yep. And now she's out of mana, he's out of mana, she's gonna die probably the next time she gets hit. I don't see us pulling out of this other than through blind luck. Oh, we actually might. Blind luck for the win, maybe. Somehow. Fair enough. Okay, found 17 treasure. You know what? Uh, we need to risk it again. Yes, okay, so we get to sleep through the night. And actually, I think we're kind of coming up on where we should probably be ending the episode now. Um, so next episode, we're going to continue gathering these items for the witch. Hopefully, we'll have a bit more luck. Uh, I guess we have to bring these back to her, and then there's presumably a couple more things that we have to go pick up somewhere else. I would imagine... Some other far-flung area, maybe up here, we'll have to go get something. I don't know. Anyway, we'll find out next episode. We're also, next episode, going to take a trip back to town. Uh, and see what we can get in the way of some better gear for these guys. So, once again, I'm Nightcat. We have been playing Knights of Pen and Paper. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Take care.